You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. I'm back. Rudrance for our Black and White Sports 2. Well, we got a couple of things. They're both involving the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Mike Evans, his suspension has been upheld. He's going to have to serve it. He lost his appeal. His agent came out and slammed the NFL. And funny enough, the NFL has sent a warning letter of some kind. Nobody knows exactly what was in said warning letter, but there's some speculation. And if you're Bruce Arians, it's not good. It's not good. Um, Some of the things that, that potentially could have been in here, and I picked up on something that Florio said in this article, and I got Yahoo and and Florio. So let's get to the statement first from uh, Adam Schefter of uh, Mike Evans' agent slamming the NFL. We are disappointed that the league upheld a suspension when there are several arguments of players doing more egregious violations, including punching, kicking, and choking players and not being suspended. In addition, Evans had already been ejected, which is penalty enough, but the league chose to discipline him even more. This is unfortunate, but we respect the league's decision. And uh, one of the things that was talked about was the fact that John Runyon was involved in this and um, who held out, who gave out the actual punishment itself. And it just so happens John Runyon's son plays for the Packers, who is ha- who the Bucks play this weekend. So there were a lot of Bucks fans saying, hey, look, we've got a conflict of interest here. Um, I don't know that that's enough, but I get why they would at least go down that road. I would, too, uh, as a fan of the team. And um, the person that heard this was NFL hearing officer James Thrash. So uh, there was that. Now... There is, uh, well, oh, by the way, on a side note, Tom Brady is practicing today. Now, of course, he's supposed to take the days off, uh, every Wednesday off. He is uh, choosing not to. Nobody knows exactly why, because Todd Bowles did confirm he was going to be taking every Wednesday off. Some are speculating it's to work with receivers because Mike Evans won't be playing against the Packers. So, there you go. Now, let's get to this. This is Florio. The NFL sends a warning letter to the to Bruce Arians and the Buccaneers. The decision to impose a one-game suspension on Mike Evans was only part of the league's reaction to Sunday's brouhaha between the Bucs and the Saints. The NFL also had a message for team and former head coach Bruce Arians. Per a league source, and this is what's interesting, per a league source with knowledge of the situation, Okay, so that's Florio saying that a league source got in his ear. Well, if a league source got in his ear, it's possible that some of the things that uh, Florio is going to end up speculating actually came out of somebody's mouth involved in the league that was a source here. Okay, but Florio doesn't want to make it concrete, but it's not good for Arians if, if any of this stuff is, is accurate and might have come from a league source. Per a league source with knowledge of the situation, the NFL sent a warning letter to Arians and the Buccaneers in the aftermath of Sunday's incident. Arians was properly in the bench area, generally, but he was clearly in the white stripe reserved for officials, players, and coaches during the altercation. He was also clearly involved in the verbal aspect of the kerfuffle. The specifics of the warning aren't known at this point. This is where it gets iffy because, look, he'll comply, the source said, all right? Um, But if if a league source with knowledge of the situation is who dropped this news to Florio, it's kind of interesting. The specifics aren't known at this time. Presumably, the Buccaneers face potential penalties during the game and Arians faces potential discipline in the form of a fine, and this is where it gets really interesting, or possible even banishment from the bench area. Regardless, it likely won't get to that. Quote, he'll comply, the source said. 
The league realizes that there's a potential problem with having a former head coach serve as an unofficial agitator or otherwise behaving as if he's still the coach, even though he isn't. Good for the league to shut it down swiftly and decisively. You know what's interesting about that whole thing? Is that after seeing, and look, Arians is known to have a a temper, and I kind of like Bruce Arians, to be honest with you. But it is interesting when you think about everything that Antonio Brown said about Bruce Arians. Then you see what happens the other day where he blatantly told Evans, you... I mean, they, they slowed it down on TV. I watched the replay a minute, and he tells Evans to get his ass back in there, and now Evans is, is suspended, okay? Um, so if Arians is sort of a hothead, how much of the back and forth between Antonio Brown actually might have been on Bruce Arians? That's something we're not talking about in all this. I thought I would is it was worth at least bringing it up there, you know, right? And there, and there was word uh, back when uh, Brady initially retired that he retired because he wasn't going to – he did not want Bruce Arians to be his coach anymore, that, that that was partially responsible, and that when he came back, the agreement was Bruce Arians was getting shifted somewhere else. Again, all speculation, but all things that came out. There you go. So what we learned was Evans is gone for the game against the Packers. There's no coming back for that game. He's out. Kind of figured they would uh, uphold it. But then this interesting letter came out warning the Buccaneers and warning Bruce Arians and the fact that a a league source with knowledge of the situation tells, I guess, Mike, Mike Florio here, that this this letter's been sent and but these we don't know the repercussions, but these are possible repercussions. Okay, a lot of times how this works with sources, if somebody tells you something, they'll say, okay, this is what the league's doing or this is what's happening. Well, what does that mean? Well, this is what it means, but you can't make that public per per the league or per the source. You can speculate it in your article, just don't tie it directly to anything. So it's possible, it's very possible in speculation. Florio was told, look, he could be banished, but he probably will follow and he'll comply because he, you know, that looks terrible, right? Uh, Tell me what you think, Black and White Sports 2 fans. Oh, a lot of things going on with the Bucs. A lot of fallout from that game. I can't wait for them to play again. I said that the other day. Um, There's just not enough good old school-like rivalries in sports. And these two teams absolutely hate each other's guts. And that makes football fun, right? I think it does. Peace. I'm out. Till next time. Black and White Network supporters, make sure you check out the Black and White Network merchandise store. Make sure you use promo code USA First, all one word. USA First, all one word will get you 25% off. Go get them right now. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.